I'm going to show you how you can create Airtable records using a webhook URL. I'll be using this tool by main extension is .com, and I will add a URL to this in the description. So the idea here is we have a URL. Every time we open it, we create a new Airtable record, and then we show the user who opened that URL, that new Airtable record. So this is that URL right here. I click it, a new Airtable record just got created, and then I'm shown that record. So in my table, this is that last record here. Now notice how I haven't specified any of the field values here. So these all, all the values that you see in front of you, even that image, they're all formulas. They're pre-calculated. So it's the same what I just did earlier is the same as me just hitting the plus here and then waiting for those to fill in. Now what I want to try next is to show you how you can actually fill in things that are not formulas within that URL. So you would do this in the same way you would pre-fill Airtable forms. Copy this link that um, that you saw earlier. You copy this, drop it in here, and then you do a question mark prefill. And it's the same way you would do it with Airtable Forms. So I'll leave it. Um, I, I'm not going to go too much in depth into how you would do this, but just follow the same instructions for Airtable Forms. So I'm prefilling that ready to true. Um, and then I'm also prefilling the order to number one. So this is the order field and then the ready field. So I'm going to go ahead and hit here. And boom. So this got created. This is a new record. It has that number as the order. It has this, this title as the order. And then it has a checkbox here. So if you buy the tool, this is what you would see. You would start by following the first three URLs there to fill up the table ID, base ID, and user API key. And then next, you would decide what you want to show to the user in terms of fields. So the fields here are the things that you're seeing here bolded. So these are all the fields that you're showing. And then um, the first field you, you can see there is not actually, doesn't have a title on top of it. So this field, this is the actual value, right? So this is this thing right here, but we're not showing the name of the order. So if I move things around, I can get that field to be on top. So if I just do this here, let's just do this and then click save, then reload this page. Now I would expect that, yep. So I you see how I flipped it and now things got moved. So that's how you, you would reorder them. If you see anything on here that you do not want to be shown, just delete it. Um, if you don't see a field, because sometimes not everything gets automatically imported. So enter that field uh, manually. And let's see, next is that picture you're seeing on top. So this picture right here is it, it can be a URL just as text or an attachments field. If it's an attachments field, we'll just grab the first one. And um, yeah, so let me show you what the card looks like if I remove this actually. So if I save this and then go back to this card, there you go. So it just looks like a normal card in that instance. Um, and last thing here is the redirect URL. So um, in our case, we're, we want the users to be sent to this card, right? So we want the record to be created through the webhook URL, and then we want this card to be shown. But you might not want that. And if you don't want that, you can still create that record through the webhook, but then redirect your user somewhere else. So if you want to do that, you just add that URL here, and we will not show this card at all. And all we'll do is we'll create that record and then send users to your redirect URL. This page, by the way, also will auto-refresh every minute, and it will say here that it auto-refreshes.